All right, we are back at the Park Link Road Railroad Crossing here on mile post 950.22. We just got back from the UP Gila sub further down. Actually, it's this is the same one, but this crossing, um, the crossing we were at was recently upgraded. I mentioned it on one of my other videos. But um, today, this crossing is the prime visitor we're here for. Because look at this. Both signals have their dot tags facing the facing the road. You can see it says 741714K. And there's a little bit of extra road cement. There's a little extra road cement from last from the last from the last time it came by. But this crossing still rel is still relatively unchanged. So, I can't really be mad about it, but it's just, quest it's questionable, because this is the fourth one I've been to that has, has had this happen, because, um, Massingale Road, Toro Farms Road, and the power plant crossing down there have their dot tags looking like this, and this one is not an, ex is no exception at all, is no exception at all to the rule. Compared to the upgraded crossings, which still have their dot tags facing the railroad tracks instead of the actual signals, road. But look at this. But yeah, this one, this crossing is pretty much like Tangerine Road now because of the fact that this signal has a new LED in it, just like Tangerine Road now has. It's new. It's a new um, GE pixelated LED too. GE dotted is actually is a better is a better description. But yeah. This crossing has gotten, has taken a whack. It got hit by the upgrade whammer whack thing. That sign's still the same, just been whacked against. You can see the dot, you can see the relay case and the weird defect detector. Nah, no, it's not a defect detector. Thing that looks like one, just hanging out right here. But you can see that they've done that to it. I don't even think that's the actual proper screws. But yeah, we just got back from, we were on, we were at Granada Avenue, AKA Main, Main Street, AKA Oracle Road. And the crossing down there was recently completely upgraded. I mentioned it on my, I mentioned it on another video because the last up to date thing before today was um, the relay case just being installed there. Now it has, it's, it's been come, it's become fully apparent that it's no longer original it's completely replaced yeah that's just that's just what happens on up's tracks now the up gila sub has uh, kind of became the up geneva sub at best because they're doing all these weird things like upgrading the crossings and messing around with the older equipment like this so yeah that's what's on today's agenda we got this going on here for us and I came by here a while back with my S10 Plus, and it was never like this. Pretty much it also resembled a stock image photo. Now it looks nothing like it. That's the consequence for UP's actions. It doesn't look like the stock image photo anymore. It just looks like an oddball crossing. And some would say it looks like a BNSF crossing now, which you can kinda see it. I mean, just look at it, just look at that. But anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably not be that long until the train gets here. Because, yeah, that's it.